Good evening, everybody. I want to welcome you back to another exciting episode of Home Cooking with Chef Larche. Uh, so we're excited because this is the month of February, and February is Valentine's month. Huh. So, of course, you want to think about what can you make to have that special supper with your Valentine. And we've got some great ideas on tap for tonight. So I'm your host, Bob Benson, tonight. Our chef, Miguel Larche, uh, born in Martinique, uh, French-trained uh, in culinary arts, a uh, specialist in vegetarian cuisine. His understudy, Emily Graham, who uh, she should be teaching. She's a teacher by trade, but she is a learner here in the kitchen. So she'll be uh, taking some instruction, and she'll be doing... Hopefully you are getting these recipes the day before we do these presentations so you can buy the ingredients, put them in your home kitchen, and be ready to do your cooking with us step by step as they demonstrate them. So that way you can um, have the practice, you can see what's going on, you can do it at home. And we have a Q&A so that you can ask questions if we're not getting something through that you need to know. So anyway, Miguel, tell us about tonight. What do we got going on uh, in the kitchen for our Valentine's month? Bonjour, Emily. Ça va? Hola. So what do we have today? Uh, our lasagna. Okay. I think lasagna, do, I think it's a great meal for Valentine. It's like you can eat one piece of lasagna and people and the couple can just eat together, you know? And we have also the tapioca, tapioca pudding. It's tapioca pudding is like sweet. It's, it's like a, I put a, we have like lemon, sour, and fruits. It's like citrusy and it's sweet. It's, it's, I think it's incredible. And you can put it like a, a nice champagne cups, you know? And so both spoon and everything, and people can just enjoy it. I think it's great. Oh, huh? really what do you think? Yeah. So this is what we're going to have today, uh, guys. And uh, so uh, we, you ready to start? Yeah, let's okay, start. let's do it. Okay, first we're going to start with the lasagna. It takes all the preparation, so therefore we're going to start uh, cutting the vegetable. For the lasagna today, um, I choose to use bell pepper, eggplant, and zucchini, okay? And uh, so we're going to slice those, those um, zucchini. So basically what you want to do is just, just one, take one of that. <coughs> so we want to just like a quarter of an inch, something like this, okay? Just like that. Okay. So you just put it, yeah, perfect. <laughs> it doesn't want to cook. Okay, so you, you could go in and, and like this. And then after this, we're going to add, yeah, oops. Yes, perfect, that's it, okay. So this is for the size of pan, okay, this, this, uh, this size of pan. So we're going to use also bell pepper. I have some eggplant there. Do you like eggplant, Emily? Not much? Okay, we won't put a lot in it. You like spinach? I, I, yeah. Okay. I, I like it. Okay, so you will try to like it today. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take some eggplant. We can just like four or five slices just to cover one layer. It'll be a two layers, okay? Two layers of uh, for today for the um for the uh, uh, for the dish. Two layers, okay? So a layer of zucchini and a layer of eggplant mixed with spinach and, and tofu. Huh? We are uh, cottage cheese tofu, and the tofu we're going to put capers, we're going to put kalamata, all those things. So you will cover the eggplant you don't like. <laughs> huh? okay, okay, perfect. Okay, so now, so this year you're going to take this and just take it out, the seed out, and open this way and just tap it out so we take the extra seed from it. Okay. I think the color when you cut on the bell pepper and uh, the yellow of pepper and uh, also the the red pepper when you cut into the lasagna when you have a slice you see those things this color coming up from the slice is so pretty mm -hmm. and the red is like valentine you know right <laughs> 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 yes how can, you, how can you go wrong with that huh no. you can't go wrong with that color of love. <laughs> yeah color of love yes like in the food okay so uh, this is curd now we need something like a, a blend so we're going to use some olive oil Okay. And you, you yes. Um, I need a, I need a something, a container. Okay. I forgot. <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay. Look at, look at. Where are those containers? Okay. Um, <laughs> I think this will work. Okay. So you're going to take some oil, uh, put some olive oil in this. Yes. You just, just put uh, half of this. We're not going to measure today. We just keep going. Okay. Yes. Because and then we're going to wash all the veggies after. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. Then you're going to take some nutritional yeast flakes. Just, just go ahead. 
uh, put about a tablespoon to two tablespoons, something like this. Don't you like this? No measure and everything? I mean, you just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can put some salt. Yeah, as to taste. <laughs> okay, I forgot the salt. Okay. Okay, perfect. You're doing so well. And here, this is like a blend of oregano, basil, dry basil, oregano. So you can put some here. And your recipe, you have the recipe, guys. Just follow the recipe and follow exactly what is there. It should work. Okay. But uh, we, we today we just okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you can put. It's it's fine. I think it's good. Okay, and go ahead and put some uh, dry. This is like garlic and onion. I've just put together, oh, so cool. you can put some there. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that much. And now you stir it. And after that, I want you to just give it a try. <laughs> just plain. Like <laughs> yes, okay. and, and then you give it a try. Okay. You see what I do? Yeah. And then. Mm. A little bit more, a little bit more salt. Yes. <laughs> Let me put the oven on. Okay. We're going to put the oven at 375. Um. Sorry for the noise. <laughs> I just put down a little, so okay. Cooking is noisy. Okay. No salt. Mm. Oh it's yeah. good. Yes. Mm. It's good. It. You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Really awesome. <laughs> okay. Emily <laughs> like it. Everybody should like it. <laughs> okay. Now okay. we can. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now you can. We can. Uh, you can brush. I have a brush here. So you take this and you just brush like this. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, seriously? Okay, I'm it. sorry. <laughs> no, okay, use this one. Okay. Okay, just wash the whole thing. Right. I look for another tray. I don't have. I don't think. Maybe I should put in a bigger. Oh, this is fine. Oh, maybe we fit everything. Okay. We don't. Maybe it fit. We yeah, we squeeze it. Mm. And then we. I. I, I don't like my eggplant to be overcooked because you're going to cook uh, for an hour in the oven with the lasagna so we're going to cook it like al dente not al dente but not to cook either okay, okay. Uh, a little al dente uh, if you want to say this tech this word but um, yes ah i forgot a little bit of cayenne <laughs> oh yeah, yeah yeah the cayenne goes a long way yeah it's it's fine it's fine because the rest of the vision we have some cayenne so it's fine oh, okay. and the two four also we have some so, so go ahead put the same it? thing uh, no, let's How let's let's put some like this and yeah, st okay. sorry, <laughs> go a little faster. Yeah. Yes, good. good. Do you think we have a nice pan for this? I think the pan is. Uh, mm. If we take a large one instead, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's larger. <laughs> I don't have enough parchment for everything, but it's okay. You just yeah. put the rest there. I need a pan and an oven the size of my kitchen at home. Yeah, that's that's it for so much time that I have all this little pan, everything, and yes. It's like going to the laundromat. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> no, okay, go, yes, that's perfect. You can just Here? yes, on you can, yeah. Make it flat on it. Okay. That's wonderful. And it is nice. So the way I cook, I pieces and everything in advance. Okay, so instead of um, it's it's like layer of flavors. So the zucchini, yellow squash. It's well seasoned and all those things. Then the tofu will be seasoned to uh, have different seasoning. And then after the tomato sauce are their seasoning. So when you come back all together, it's just like you can't go wrong. Huh? Okay. You can't go wrong. It's like an explosion of seasoning. Yes, an explosion of flavors and yeah. it's like yes. Okay, so you do we do the same thing like here okay. and just blend this. Awesome, beautiful. beautiful, beautiful. And and the tomato sauce is ready. I pre-made the tomato sauce because we have a show with tomato sauce before, and you you did the tomato sauce. So I I, I felt like I don't know to do it again. Okay, so they can go on YouTube and check it out. Okay, okay, so that's fine. Can I put this right on here. Then? Yes, go ahead. And then after that, you put it in the oven. And we have the spinach with this. You see the the rainbow of color. Yeah. Is that is Valentine? That's beautiful. I love it. I, I just love it. I think it's, yeah. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, there is nothing. Like there is nothing there. <laughs> okay. okay, perfect. So you can go ahead and put it in the oven. Okay. I think this is the preps is good for. Uh, then we can go to uh, we can go to uh, to the um, switch your part. Okay, you good? For lack of time, let's go higher. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully it could quickly. Okay, you good? Right. Yes. Okay, uh, tonight we're going to talk about um, environment. We've been looking at these creation study guides, creation life put out by It Is Written, which are fascinating. I really encourage you to get some if you haven't. Um, so we first time we talked about C for creation. C represents choice, and we found out through making wise choices. Uh, you can have positive outcomes in your health and in your longevity and in your quality of life. We discovered that the best source to getting wisdom on making the best choices, of course, is the Bible. Relationship issues are discussed there. Uh, issues, uh, many issues, parenting, um, how to take care of your body health. All these things are discussed in the Bible, finances as well. So uh, then we discussed number two in tonight's presentation. We talked about rest and how important rest is. We got circadian rhythms, and if you don't get the rest that you need, your body's not as refreshed and it's not rejuvenated. The reserves are not put back in place like they would be if you had the rest that you need. Uh, but tonight we're talking about uh, number three, environment. So creation, the E represents environment. So we know that there's issues. I remember as a kid, I was uh, in high school and I was reading about Greenpeace boats that were weaving themselves in between um, those ships that were shooting at whales. They were doing whaling, and so they were trying to stop the whaling industry, and they basically succeeded. They were risking their lives to save the whales. We had OPEC oil. We didn't need any more whaling to get oil. So that was an example of being a custodian of the beautiful things God has created. We discover how things came to be in Genesis. Genesis 1-1 talks about in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. So we know that everything that we have in the book of Genesis, it outlines the fact that God created not only uh, the land and the seas, but all the different types of trees and all the fruit that are on the trees, uh, all the different kinds of birds and the fish and the, the animals, the flowers, all that God created for us to enjoy. And it's beautiful. Everything was good. God also made man in his image and made them male and female. He said, uh, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth or subdue it. So they were given dominionship over all the things they created, all the animals, all of nature. They were to take care of it and uh, improve it. So everything was going good, except there was, of course, the issue that uh, they were told not to eat from this tree of knowledge of good and evil. If they did eat from it, the results would be that there would be death. And that's exactly what happens. Um, Satan deceived Eve. She ate from the fruit, gave it to her husband. And then we have the issue of the introduction of death, of disease, of sorrow, and of pain. But the good news is um, there are still things that we can learn about God from this nature, although it is marred by sin. One of the things we can discover is that Romans 1.20 tells us that since the creation of this world, God's invisible attributes are clearly seen being understood by the things that were made. So we clearly re know that God has power, power to create uh, the beautiful suns that are out there representing other planets, uh, other uh, galaxies, suns of other galaxies, those huge uh, stars that are out there, and to keep them in order as they go around, um, as the planets move around within their galaxies. Revelation, uh, Psalms 19.1 says, The heavens declare the glory of God. The firmament shows his handiwork. Everything is just order and precision. You know, the moon goes around the earth, and the earth goes around the sun, and everything's just in beautiful harmony. The sun's not too close to the um, earth, otherwise uh, we would not be able to exist. It's not too far away, otherwise we would have problems with ice and couldn't grow food to eat. So we look at uh, God's creation yes. and we discover that uh, with sin comes a lot of temptations and trials that we face. And uh, 
but we can know that this promise is true. All things work together for good to those who love the Lord, to those who are called according to his purpose. So while we're going through things, sometimes we recognize, you know what, this isn't the way God created it. We're living the planet where there's sin and rebellion. And so there are some unnatural consequences, murders, uh, killings, uh, criminal behavior impact a lot of us. Uh, diseases. What about uh, COVID and all those things that are going through our land today and the death toll that is coming from that? 1 Corinthians 10, 13 also tells us about the temptations and the trials that we face. It says, uh, there's no temptation that has overtaken us except such as is common to man, but God is faithful. And he will not allow us to be tempted beyond what we are able, but with the temptation. We'll also make a way of escape that we will be able to bear it. So whatever we're going through in this land where there's all of the suffering that's taking place, no worries. Put your faith in God. It'll work together for good. And God will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you're able. He will be with you through it and carry you through it. So how can we learn to rely on God more fully? There's a beautiful text in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. And it talks about, we all with unveiled face behold as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are being changed into the same image from glory to glory just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Now that is a psychological principle and that is that who you hang around influences you. Uh, so by beholding and, and uh, your influences that are impacting you shape you. You, you respond to those and but that is not the first principle the first principle is the biblical principle which preceded psychology that by beholding we become changed and so what we put in front of ourselves, if we spend time with successful people they say it helps you to be successful uh, if you spend time with people who are criminal in behavior likely that's going to impact you in the wrong direction but what if you spend time with God and in his word and as you study God's word and you recognize the presence of God is with you, you will be blessed by being like God. And that's the goal is to be like him, loving and kind and serving. So let's take a look at um, Philippians 4.13. It says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So the key to victory is a relationship with Christ, trusting in Christ to help you to get victory over the challenges you face. You may have been defeated in the past, but if you say, Lord, this time I ask you to lead me through this experience. Give me the victory. And he will be with you and he will guide you to victory in whatever challenges you face. What about Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5? Let your conduct be without covetousness, but be content with such things as you have. For he himself has says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So God is going to be with us in all the challenges that we face in life, in this environment of sin that we live in. So one of the keys for happiness is that found in Matthew 9, 29. According to your faith, let it be, Jesus said, as he was touching somebody and healing them. Uh, faith, faith is trusting in God. And we discover in Hebrews 11 that lots of things happen when people have faith in God. You can think about Peter walked on water because he had faith. The Bible talks about if we have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains out of the way. A sick woman's prayer was granted because she had faith and she was healed. A dead child was raised because there was faith. So faith allows us to do all of these kind of things that we could never imagine that we could do because it's the power of God working within us. So what are the ways that God has made it possible for us to experience our environment? I love this text. Psalms 34, verse 8, it says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Taste is one of our senses. One of the ways that we can experience God is through our senses. I still remember the story that I like so much about the little girl that went to Walt Disney or Disney World. Uh, she was a CP person and she was in her wheelchair and she was with a bunch of other kids and Cinderella was there and, and all the kids were going to Cinderella and she was trying to get a wheelchair over there and she just couldn't keep up. But Cinderella watched and she saw that she was trying to come her direction. And so with all the kids mobbing around her, she gradually made her way over while she said hello to all the other kids. When she finally got to the girl who was, had CP in the wheelchair, she bent down and she kissed her. And I have to tell you for kids who are 
disabled or have handicaps, when somebody gives them a little touch, a little affection, it means so much to their heart, and she just made joy to her face. So we live in this world of environments that was perfect at first. Everything was perfect and good. Then sin came and brought yeah, the sin and the suffering. But a life in Christ can restore the joy and the happiness that we lost in Eden. But then there's the other side of the equation. The other side is that God I wants you to go out into the world and make the environment for other people to be a blessing. You can be the person who plays the music that brings joy to an invalid's heart as they're in the care facility. You can be the person who touches the little crippled person and brings joy to them. You can be the person who gives the encouraging word or the little squeeze on the shoulder and say, you're doing awesome, I'm so proud of you. So I want to encourage you, first of all, accept Christ as your Savior. Ask Him for His strength to go through life and His challenges because you're going to find challenges in life. But then go beyond that and say, Lord, I don't want to just receive the blessing. I want to be a blessing. I want you to bless others through me. And then open my eyes so that I can see who I can bless and make this world a better environment for everybody who's around me. And as we do that, uh, this place will be a better world. But there is something else that's coming. Isaiah 65, 7, he says, I create a new heavens and a new earth, and the former will not be remembered or come to mind anymore. So God is going to recreate, and we're going to have the restoration of a perfect environment, but this time we're going to have God with us as well, as we'll be in his kingdom forevermore. So I would encourage you to uh, remember Jesus is always at your side. You can always call for him, and his presence will always be with you, and he will sustain you through whatever you go through. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Father, we thank you that you created this beautiful planet and you gave it to us to take good care of it, be good stewards of it. We made some mistakes. All of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, so we all are guilty of that. But in spite of the things that we have done wrong, Lord, you have promised to be with us, to sustain us, and to bless us with your presence, that you would go through us and strengthen us, that everything would work together for good to those who love you and are called according to your purpose. But Lord, as we have received your fullness in our lives, and bring the joys and happiness to us, we ask that you would help us to be the positive environment in the world for other people. There are so many people that are hurting that need to know you. So we just ask you to help us to be dispensers of your love, your mercy, and your grace, that others may come to know you and have the fullness of the joy that we have in Christ. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, Th Chef. Thank you. You ready for the next time? steps? Okay, so we had a tomato sauce ready, the marinara sauce. This is the one that's, mm. and, and they have it on YouTube, so okay. So this is, this is incredible actually, it's flavors. You want to try it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. It's cold, but. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and then, mm. good. Mm. Yes, it's so good. Awesome. So you can go back to YouTube or on the yes. website. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. And you I made it, and so everybody can make so it. Okay, mm -hmm. so now, and we have the, Vegetables, it's uh -huh. almost ready. So now we have to make the tofu, the cottage cheese. Okay, so okay. go ahead, put the tofu. Okay, so I drained this. Yes. And then put this in. So she drained the the whole the water, and now she's going to crush it. With my hands. Yes. <laughs> the hand is the my the best tool, you know. It's yes. Cold. It's cold, eh? Yeah. Uh, so cold. Sometimes for the cafeteria and the cafeteria where I work, uh -huh. and we had to make scrambled tofu, and so we use like four boxes like 12 of ca 12 in each case mm -hmm. and we have to crush with our hand the whole thing oh over here and it's so cold and it came back from the fridge and it's oh. like you're crying oh. it's like <laughs> why am i doing this <laughs> <laughs> so i could so now this is crushed Beautiful. now wonderful yeah, now go ahead and now uh, you can go ahead quickly wash your hand while yes, you're coming back you. yes So after this, Emily, you're going uh -huh. to add about um, six tablespoons of veginase inside. Okay. This is the veginase that we use. Uh, you can use also, uh, there is other kind of veginase, huh? mm -hmm. um, uh, grapeseed yes. veginase. Uh, so this is like the soy veginase, okay? okay? But you can use this grapeseed also. Go ahead and you can put it in. And you said six tablespoons? Yeah, six, uh, uh, about six tablespoons. And, and let's put a dry first of this, about oh. three tablespoons of this first. Okay. Nutritional yeast mix. Mm -hmm. Okay, the nutritional yeast fake just give like, uh, just like extra flavor. It's like a, a, a nice cheesy flavor for it. Right. 
Okay. So I'm going to uh, chiffon as some uh, of the basil also while you're doing this. Okay. So the um, the recipe asks for oregano, but you can use basil. You can use uh, um, um, rosemary or thyme, okay. and it's just fine. I like basil also. And then like put this. Ooh. <laughs> what do you call that? You're going to chiffonade. Chiffonade. Yeah, chiffonade. Yeah. Okay. Chiffon. Yeah. Basil is something I you. I forgot to count. I think that was six. Yeah, I'm sure it's six. <laughs> the basil. Something about basil, you cannot. When you slice uh, chiffonade, when you slice them, you cannot go back to it because <laughs> it's, it crush it crush the oil out. It's, it just get dark. So you want to one slice and that's it. You don't want to oh. keep doing this, and it's not it's not the best thing for basil. Gotcha. Okay, so it bruises, it get bruised and uh, it's not it's not good. Yeah, okay, I've done so that many. yeah. Several, <laughs> okay, times. so you promise you want to do that? <laughs> no, no more. Okay, okay. So the rosemary, okay. we're going to put some. You want to ch chop some? Yeah, I want. Sure. Uh, okay, go ahead. But the rosemary doesn't matter, does it? No, it doesn't matter. So you, you slice it first, then you chop. Okay. And then the garlic. I have some garlic somewhere. Oh yes. <laughs> garlic, be careful, I'm going to give a good uh hand. <laughs> it's, it's not working. So <laughs> I worked a little bit. <laughs> yes. yes. And so now I'm going to take the knife and fire it up. Okay. Okay. A little bit more. A little crush it a little bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow, look at you, look at, like the you see I this, <laughs> this is incredible, <laughs> oh man, he worked, the training. <laughs> That's right, good training. <laughs> yes, I'm excited to see this. Okay, I'll let you do the garlic, you do that so well. Am I doing um, this is really yes. the same thing with the garlic? Yes, you do the same thing. Okay, very good. So I didn't fly it up, so fly it up a little bit more like I do for the garlic after that. Okay, Okay. just like that, a little bit more, so it's easy then. Oh, to uh, it yes, so it then it's much more easy, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you chop it. So we use three cloves of garlic. We can use, of course, more garlic. <laughs> so it's up to you if you have three cloves is okay with you or you want more. Oh, um, I don't however, because I love garlic, so okay, uh, we can use another one if you want. I mean, okay, so if it's not gonna be <laughs> overpowering, then no, yeah. it'd be fine. Okay. okay, one more, yes, okay. I better check uh, in the vegetable. I better check the vegetables. Um, okay. I put this thing at 400 plus because we don't have lack of time, you know. Right. Yeah, it'll be good too. Yeah, check. it's great. It's great. I'm glad I check it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be a disaster. <laughs> like okay. Zoned in on the garden. This is I'm great. This is. You see that? Ah, uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm. So, vegetables ready? Yes. Cottage cheese is almost there. We're going to put some sun dried tomatoes. This is the most beautiful cottage cheese I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it's very fancy, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead, put some sun dried tomatoes in it. Okay, and, and uh, I Yes, you can chop. Yes, you can yes, just. Okay. It doesn't have to be like very fine, fine chop, but just, uh, okay. just a little bit. It's yes, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Great, good job. So and uh, what about capers? It yes. Capers is a condiment. It's a it's pickles, and uh, I love to use pick, uh, pick capers. It gives like uh, the acidity to the mm -hmm. the the tofu. Tofu is a little s sweet on the side, so it gives this uh, a neutral at the same time. So it brings a lot of flavor to it. Is that enough? That's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yes, and you give a that's the color. You see the Valentine color, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the kalamata, so we're going to take some. Okay. Wow, we put a lot of salt in this cottage cheese. Is this? These are already pitted, yeah? Okay. Yes, pitted, kalamata olive, and then you just slice it, just just like slice like that, okay? Okay. So, how was your week, Emily? Is this Tuesday? Yes, <laughs> yes, I, I, I understand, I understand completely what you just said. <laughs> Yeah. Is it going fast? <laughs> yes. It's been really full. Good. Yeah, that's good. good. Have you? Yeah, it has been very full. We have uh, quite a few groups uh -huh. um, came. Uh, we had like a uh, um, father, father and son last uh, oh, last weekend. Ah, yeah. oh, main yes. camp. Yes, main camp was incredible. We had two hundred 
fifty, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's it was. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was amazing. All oh, those. those to see the bonding between father and son, this was incredible. That's that was uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to see how they play together and everything. <laughs> that that's good. Okay, yeah. so now we're going to put some salt in it. Okay. Uh, put about uh, mm, a teaspoon, two teaspoon, and we have to try it. Okay, you have to taste it. Salt to taste. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of dry thing that like this. I always under salt, so we'll just have to try it. Okay, yes. Stir it well, and uh, yes, and let's oh, try that. So pretty. And the store, um, also the Nature's Nest store works very well. Our customers are so grateful we are this store. And actually, they mm -hmm. nominate us at uh, uh, the Chamber of Commerce. Did they really? We have one of, one of the nominated. It's not We have not been chosen yet, but we are nominated to be one of those the best business. Uh, awesome. uh, in really in Greeling, cool. so um, wow. they're going to do the, all the voting on Friday, starting on Friday, and okay. so okay. hopefully people vote, vote people, people vote for us. A lot of people vote for us, and uh, the Nature's Nest have been a blessing for so many people, yeah. and uh, people come and they enjoy. They keep coming back, and they mm -hmm. say this is the best thing that happened in Greeling. You know, oh, God. so that's, that's amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, I I saw signs up at the gym where I go, yeah. and oh like, yes, it was great. I was talking yeah. to people about it. So yeah, yeah, I'll definitely vote. If any yes. of you guys have been to Nature's Nest and you can get, how do you vote? You get on like. Uh, I guess you go to uh, uh, the Chamber, of, uh, the yeah. Greeling Chamber of Commerce, I think, and uh, and you vote for us. Please do so, and yeah. uh, we never know what happened. We may be the best business in town. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's give it a try. Okay. More salt. Little bit more salt, <laughs> but the flavor is okay. okay. It's wonderful actually. Just salt. More mm -hmm. salt. I hope that's enough. I'm always afraid that I'm going to overdo it because I, I think that's, that's what happened, happened. One, one time. And then after that, <laughs> And after scary. that, you are on the salt. <laughs> 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 but actually, it's, it's really great. Go ahead and try it. Yeah. Okay. I want you to try it for yourself okay, so and then see. The, the amazing thing, always try your food mm -hmm. before you serve it. <laughs> so you have not to worry. Oh, I hope they like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let, let's put some uh, cayenne eventually. Go ahead, put, okay. put it first. Taste it first. Okay. Taste a big chunk of it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Huh? Okay. I think it has enough salt. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. good. I have some sage. I'm going to put some sage also. Okay, okay. okay. I think it's time for us wow. to assemble everything. I'm never going to want to go back to regular cottage cheese <laughs> after that. <laughs> no, exactly. Mm -hmm. You have to make it so tasty, so flavorful, so people mm -hmm. say, okay, I think I can be vegan. <laughs> 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 yes. Wow. Yes, I think I can be vegan. Yes. So good. Okay. Oh, you good? Yeah, I think so. I think okay. So l now let's assemble everything. First, you want to start with the tomato sauce. In the meantime, I'm going to pull everything away there because we're going to start something else. Do you just do this enough to cover the bottom? Yeah. Yes, just enough to cover the bottom. Okay. And what I like to do, I like to make my lasagna overnight. Okay. The reason why so that all the flavors settle mm. well together and blend well together and it's good, it's good now. <laughs> 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 yes. Okay. okay. So the flavors blend well. Yes, and uh, and right. so also the noodle, I don't pre-cook my noodle, so I put it straight like this. Okay. So by the time that I start cooking it, it's already softened, it's already blend well with the flavor, so the noodle don't, doesn't need to be cooked in advance, okay? Mm -hmm. So you fry it up like this and go ahead, make uh, all the layers like. Right? Wonderful. Can you overlap a little ish? Or no? Okay, yes, yes. just like this, yes. Okay. Are you following us, everybody? You are there with us? Uh, it's oh, okay. nice. Awesome, the camera is there. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, perfect. You're seeing it well there. Okay, wonderful. Now go ahead and uh, put uh, the tofu. Okay. Look at this cheese tofu. Um, Let me see. I don't know if you nice see this nice tofu there. Oh, look at this, guys. Beautiful. Awesome. Yes. Okay. You can put enough to cover the layers. You don't want to see. Um, you don't want to see the noodles. Okay. Uh, the pasta. Noodles is Asian. Pasta is Italian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! I heard a, I heard a good joke about. Oh yeah. 
It always what? happens when I try to remember jokes. Yes, okay. <laughs> we, had, we had a pasta joke at school today. Uh huh. Oh, it's, I don't know. Let's see. I can't remember it and do this at the same time. <laughs> Let me blast it. Well, how, how does it go? <laughs> I don't I'm know. Waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm sure it was I'm good. Sorry. It was great. <laughs> one of the Have students we? gave this joke. Is it uh, one, of one, of the, one of the students during journal time was looking up jokes, like, ah, okay. you know, the best clean jokes or whatever. Yes. And then I think, I, I okay. think it was Mrs. Cheddar that came up with the pasta joke. I'm sorry okay. if it was somebody else. <laughs> I don't remember. That's good now. That's enough? Okay, yes. okay I wasn't watching. No, okay. but that's perfect. After that, the second layer, we use the first second layer. It's so okay. good. Now, the yes. next steps, we can put uh, any vegetable. We can put the eggplant yeah. and uh, half of the bell pepper. Okay. Okay. So this is just... Yes. Spread out over the entire thing? Yes, correct. Okay. It's actually, I don't know. So sometimes when you cook with vegetables that you don't like, it, it increases your um, desire to eat them. Yeah. Sometimes it may be the other way, but this is actually looking really good. Awesome. I'm so excited that you <laughs> saw that this way. Awesome. Now, is that like, I mean, it's yeah, not that's fine. Is that okay? That's fine. But we put some bell pepper around it. Okay. And we don't oh, have to use all the bell pepper so yeah good. this is uh, incredible huh? <laughs> yeah. and then i'm going to we're going to put some uh, fresh basil between each layers just to give extra flavor you know mm. um the flavor is so important when you eat you know so yeah. it's like this you see some fresh basil Ooh. like that what do you think yeah now what do we do good this is now it's yeah? it's fine and now we're going to do another layer. Not that yet. Okay. So we, we do that first. So yeah. I, and I have the key lime, my key lime oh. sauce. Okay, the key lime sauce, uh, not the key lime sauce, it's a green sauce. You can find it at the Nature's Nest. Okay. okay? The people really love this sauce, so mm -hmm. I'm going to put there. Uh, sorry, I won't give the recipe for it, but you can buy it. It's <laughs> there. really good. Uh, so it's optional. It's, it's optional. You can put, uh, otherwise you can take some fresh basil and blend it mm -hmm. with a little bit of salt and garlic, and you have it. Okay. okay. Basil, good? salt, and garlic will give yeah, and uh, olive a good oil. flavor. Yes. Yeah, Just like that. Not, not quite like that. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> okay. really good. I'm so glad you put that in there. Then after this, you can do the same thing. You okay. can fly it up like this, okay? Okay, very yes. good. Mm. Lasagna is like comfort food, yeah? Yeah, and it's good. Yes, it's so very comfort yummy. food. Um, that's why I think it's good for Valentine because it's so comforting. Okay, so I like to fly it up so this way when you cut it, it doesn't spread apart. So it's so good. Okay. Okay. Now. Yes. <laughs> I saw that. Okay. Then now put put the uh, put the more sauce on top. Okay. Wonderful. Just enough to cover. <laughs> just it's good like this. Yes, that's good. Just say that. I surely I should have put the tofu first, but it's okay. It's fine. It's good okay. because uh, now it'd be hard to spread it. But I think you can do a good job on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, so good. Put all the tofu <laughs> in. I know. I believe in you. Uh -huh. Really. Thanks. <laughs> Try to do a little bit at a time. <laughs> okay. Is this the last, last layer of tofu? Yes, yes that's the last okay, layer of tofu. So, like so you can, I you can, can use yeah, you can use the whole thing. Right. I seriously could just eat this plain. Like this is so. Do you want good. to give some? I you mean, can keep some for you. Yes, let's do that. Take, keep, take enough. I just want to keep some so we can have some plain yeah. afterwards. Yeah. Okay, sound good. No, sound I mean, good. I'll, I'll, we'll put enough in here. Sorry. No, but, but it's really I think good. it's a good idea. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. It's you a good spread. It. It's like a good a spread for sandwiches. Exactly. And this yeah. is the basic actually for uh, spread. Um, when I make um, um, jackfruit. We call that jackfruit. I use some of the tofu and the jackfruit. Okay. People love this. I, I, I said it at the garden grill. We have pre-made. We, uh, today we made like stuffed shell. Jackfruit stuff share, we make lasagna, wow. we make uh, enchiladas, we have uh, um, also, um, how do you call this, um, uh, pot pie, we have pot lentil pie. soup, mm -hmm. all those things we have it. It's, we're selling those things, it's already made, it's already cooked, people can come and buy it there. Wow. Yeah, it's already made. This is yeah. a nature's nest, but what did you call yeah. it, the garden grill? Uh, no, no, nature's nest. Nature's, okay. I see the garden grill. Yeah. The garden grill was my restaurant before, that's oh. why. Okay, it's the nature's nest, okay? okay. okay. Nature's nest and grilling, we have all the cooked food there. It's, we, it's already done, the bread, everything. People love to come there for this. I know, okay. sometime on my day off, I want to just come and sit and eat yeah. there because it's so ah. cute. 
Got all you the did? Tables. No, no, I want to. Oh, you sure? <laughs> you sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah, people, that's Very come. Cool. We have this daily there and uh, mm -hmm. a place to sit and we sing also there. So people really love to come and sit down with the fireplace there mm -hmm. and take a, a tea or some warmer. Okay, so now you're going to put some of the Ooh, spinach. Uh, spinach and let's put some of the uh, zucchini also. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, something like that. I love zucchini. I used to feel kind of ambivalent about zucchini. Kind of like how I feel about eggplant now. So okay. Maybe, maybe yeah. eggplant will grow. <laughs> on me. Yes. I I know yes. taste buds can change, right? Yeah, now. definitely. Yes. Uh, zucchini is something I don't really... I will not, if I had to win out of a vegetable, I will not win out of zucchini. Zucchini ah. is not something I... I yeah, here. but in uh, in a dish like this, mm -hmm. I don't mind at all. Yes, yeah, but by itself, so. mm, I think <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> and let's li keep Season? some for the plates. I'm going oh, to put okay. it just for this. Time. Okay, so yeah. now that's fine. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of key lime again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good. I put some fresh basil on top. Oh, pretty. Now go ahead, put put this now. Put the yes, and then the last thing will be uh, the tomato sauce. Wonderful. And uh, let me make uh, some space there. Okay. Put another one here. Ah. Let's get it. Okay, great. Now put the tomato mm. sauce on top. Okay. And we have it. Let me turn off this. We don't need this. Oh, quiet. Oh, it's a nice and quiet when it's. <laughs> I, I don't know if our audience hears this, but the oven is really loud. Yes. Okay, so after this, we let it rest overnight, plastic wrap, and let it rest overnight, and uh, and cook it at 375 for about uh, uh, f an hour in your oven. In my oven, at um, my convection oven, professional oven. Sorry, yeah, you need more. That's okay. <laughs> Normally, you I put too much, but I didn't quite get enough this time. We, it, it would take less than that. But I, I okay. think about 55 minutes to four, 45 to 55 minutes at 375, mm -hmm. and you have it. And uh, it's ready. And let it sit mm. about uh, 15 minutes, 20, 15 to 20 minutes before you start uh, cutting it, okay? So okay. it doesn't run down everything. And if you like to put some cheese at the end, I will not put the cheese right away. This is the Dea cheese. Dea? Okay. Dea cheese, the vegan cheese. Yeah. You can put it after it's cooked. Okay. You can put the cheese on and cook it a little bit longer. Okay. Just to melt it, okay? Is that enough for new Yes. Now we're going to start the tapioca before uh, Nadine starts talking. We're going to start the tapioca. The reason why? Because it takes a long time. So, <laughs> uh, okay. yes. So we're going to start this quickly and uh, then she can. We, we start the process. That's okay? <laughs> okay. Beautiful. And a uh, little bit of this. Mm -hmm. And look at this. This is our lasagna. And uh, Emily, good job. <laughs> yes, that's all right. <laughs> really? <is> good. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to start the tapioca. Let's uh, okay. let's take this one up. We can put it here on top of here. Okay. This thing there. Let's move everything quickly there. We don't have like a advertisement between. So. <laughs> 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 Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> 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 so we have to keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, voila, we are done. <laughs> this is a uh, this is a demonstration. <laughs> a demonstration. <laughs> okay, so let's have everything out from this. We can leave it there for now. It's okay. Okay. You know how to take everything out there. Yeah. So you understand. Okay. okay, voila. So tapioca. We have the tapioca. Do you like tapioca pudding? I have you tried some? Yes, it's a root. Yeah, it's it's so uh, this is a small tapioca. There is a big one, the pearl, okay. the large pearl, but this one is doesn't it cook faster than the large one. The large one you have to do it longer. So I soak it for about maybe now forty minutes, fifty minutes oh. in the So you've already soaked it, yeah? Yes. Ooh. So okay. you, you see now? Uh -huh. It's a little soft. You can put your in there. It's a nice and not too Maybe soft, but yeah. <laughs> I have okay. Cayenne. I, I put the coconut milk. So there is two cup of uh, a third of cup of tapioca, and uh, two cup of soy milk, mm -hmm. and two third cup of coconut milk. Yeah. Okay. So this is the coconut milk we use, and we use also two cup of soy milk and uh, a two third of a cup of coconut milk. Okay. So this is what we use, and now. So we use those two things, and we now now we can put on the on the pot here. 
put it in a saucepan, go ahead and put everything in. Okay. And you're going to uh, put a third of a cup of sugar. Oh, let me take give you something to scrap it up. I think I have a spider. Yeah. You good? Okay. Okay. Sounds okay. okay. good. Mm -hmm. My 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 kids is law when I have, we make this it's like we fight. Okay, we have like four uh, or five. Okay, we will hack the last one. Everybody want the last one. <laughs> so we have to, to share. <laughs> okay, so huh. Huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> cool. Anyway. So okay, so you go a third of a cup there? Yeah? A third? Yes. Of uh, 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 sugar cane. Okay. And we're going to add some nutmeg. Mm. Now it's like, yes, yes. la romance. <laughs> okay. 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 Mm. And we're going to put some lime zest after. Okay. And we're going to uh, s cook it for about, uh, until it gets translucent. It will get. Trans yeah, yeah, you, you yeah the I'm smell. Really this <laughs> <laughs> it, it gets translucent the seed. The, the seed. Okay. Uh, you see, it's like it's like you don't you can't see through, but after you cook it, you can see through. Then it, it had to thicken. Okay, you had to get a little thick, so it's, it'll be ready okay. to uh, to it. Up. It took about thirty minutes, okay. or 15, 15, 20 minutes. That's why we had to do it before the lecture. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully you'll be ready. Okay. Yeah, now it's good. Now. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yes. Uh, go ahead. Put some uh, cinnamon. It's kind of hard to grate it on this thing, but even if you pieces fall, it's okay. But sometimes might fall. You making a mm -hmm. fire or something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't going the other way. <laughs> 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 Smells good though. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's the smell. Mm -hmm. It's like Christmas again. I know. <laughs> yes. I know. Yes. That's so nice when it's the middle of winter and you just yes. wish that Christmas is. <laughs> yes. Back. Winter and Christmas. Okay, so yeah. lime zest. Okay. Yeah, that's, a, that's mm. an incredible dessert. You love it. I'm glad you never tried before, so hopefully yeah. it'll be uh, one of your favorite dessert. <laughs> uh, it's very comforting also. It's, uh, it's Even though you, you might have a full stomach after you finish eating, but when you eat this, it's like your stomach is empty again. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. There's always extra room. <laughs> yeah. I feel like okay. I used yeah. to make this as a kid, but in a sandbox. Oh, so really? I don't think I ever made the real thing. <laughs> okay. okay. <You laughs> I would always make tapioca pudding for my mom. Oh, wow. In the sandbox. In the sandbox. I don't know why. Okay. I never had well, it. I must okay. have had it. I wow, that's... I don't that's know. What, you never... Okay, oh, okay so you use this one? Yeah. I must have had it when I was a kid. I'm so excited, though. Salt. I forgot the salt. We're going oh. to put um, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt just to balance the sweetness. Okay. 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 Now mm. go ahead and put it on the stove, and uh, we have to stir it um, often because it will stick on the bottom. Okay, okay. so okay. put it on high. Okay, for high? now, okay. because we really want to be be ready before <laughs> <laughs> before the lecture. Hopefully, the lecture don't go too fast. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> okay, uh, this one. Let's try this one. Oh, tell me one. Oh, there we go. Good. Okay, okay, it's your turn, Lily. Lecture time. <laughs> Yes, kiss time, yes. Oh.
Okay, sorry about that. So it's recommended also that you try to get active with some form of exercise, such as walking, running, swimming, or adopting some type of workout. Um, so, but there are problems with this type of dieting or way to lose weight. One of the problems We really I get up. Like, sorry. Okay, it fell off. She sh she should start again. Oh. It's on. <coughs> Here or now, it turned off. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 So, so can you hear me? me? Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Okay, where was I? So we were saying that you end up feeling unsatisfied when you are on a restricted caloric diet, and you soon get off track within a few months. Um, but you uh, probably this is the only type of dieting that you were probably used to. Um, and so that's all that you know. Well, I'm here to tell you tonight that there is a better way. You don't have to count calories. I want you to get used to the term caloric density. Caloric density is a simpler approach to losing weight and keeping it off in the long run. And if you can grasp the simple concept of caloric density, you will realize that hunger is not a problem anymore. You will realize that you can eat more, that you can eat fewer calories and lose weight at the same time. You will realize that it is easy to follow and that you're getting more nutrient dense foods and that you're not counting calories like you do on a calorie restricted diet. So what is caloric density? Caloric density is a measure of how many calories are in a given amount of food. Usually it's measured per pound of food. So we will look at the caloric density chart in just a little bit. So you will see on the chart that there is an area for high caloric density foods. So the more caloric calories per pound of food, the higher the density. And usually higher density foods are not very filling. And then you will see on the chart that we have a low caloric density area. Foods that are low in caloric densities have fewer calories per pound and they tend to be more filling. Now let's look at it at this illustration. This is a representation of what 500 calories look like. You can easily consume, as you can see on the chart, 500 calories of oil. And as you can see, that looks like barely anything in your stomach. You can consume 500 calories of cheese or meat. And as you can see, your stomach doesn't look very happy right now <laughs> with only 500 calories of that. But as you try, as you turn towards a more plant-based diet and you start, start to include more plant-based products, such as potatoes and beans and rice, more whole grain stuff, and fruits and vegetables, you will see that that fills your stomach up a lot better than the animal products. So this is just a great illustration of what caloric density looks like in your stomach. And then we also have the caloric density chart. I don't know if you can see that very well, but on the left side of that chart, you will see the green, and then there is a line starting from top to bottom, kind of a red line. 
So the areas in green are the foods that are less calorically dense, and they include vegetables, fruits, whole intact grains, legumes, and pastas. And right in the middle of that line, you will see avocados. So the green of the line are the foods, like I said, are less calorically dense, whereas the red side are the foods that are more calorically dense. And you don't have to memorize this chart. All you have to do is get an idea of the categories of food and, and basically have an idea of how much calories are probably in these foods. So you will know that on the left side, your vegetables, your fruits, your grains, basically your plant-based products are low calorically dense. Whereas the red side of that chart, those are high calorically dense food, and that includes your meats, that includes your cheeses, your ice cream, um, and also you will see that there's nuts and seeds on that chart. It's very small. I apologize that you can't see it very well. Um, there's nuts and cheese, seeds on that chart, and um, so you'll realize that. But that does not mean that you cannot partake of nuts and seeds. It has been shown that nuts and seeds are healthy for you, but the problem comes in because they're so high in calories that some people will eat like a whole bag of them, and that's not necessarily healthiest. So the best way to eat nuts and seeds is in their adult, unadulterated forms without the oil, um, and it's best to only consume a small amount of them. So these foods on the red side of the chart it's best that you don't consume very many of them, if at all, when you're trying to lose weight. You want to consume more foods on the left side of that chart where it is green and that it is safer. Now, you might say that I don't eat a pound of food per day or I don't eat a pound of olive oil. And by the way, oil is one of the richest calorically dense foods. So you don't want to have too much oil in your food when you're trying to lose weight. Um, so you might say, I don't eat a pound of olive oil. I don't eat a pound of this or that. Well, on the average, Americans actually consume about three to four pounds of food per day. So it is up to you to choose what consists in those four pounds of foods per day. And you want to make it count as much as possible so that you don't tip the scale on the wrong side. Here's a chart if you like to see charts better. So you will see again that vegetables, fruits, potatoes, pasta, barley, uh, beans, lentils, those all in the plant kingdom, kingdom, sorry, they are the ones that are the lower calorically dense foods. Whereas when you get into breads and bagels, I love breads and I didn't realize until recently that they were really high in calor caloric density. Um, your sugars are also high, your dry cereals, your dried fruits, and of course we said the nuts and seeds. And this is just another way of looking at it. So principles of caloric density, one, you want to eat freely of fruits, vegetables, intact whole grains, such as your brown rice um, and your, oh, what's the name I'm, I'm thinking of, quinoa. Those are just examples of whole intact grains and your starchy vegetables. You can eat freely from that category. But as I said before, you want to use caution with the foods that are higher in caloric density. You don't want too much of that on your plate. So, and you want to know the impact of adding oils to your vegetables. You can have a whole bowl full of salad that's really beautiful, but if you pour too much oil all over it, you just ruined the salad. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to find salad dressings that are very that are not too high in fat and not too high in oils when you're trying to lose weight or when you're trying to maintain your weight. Oh, and I want to also mention, I forgot, you did see avocados on that line that it was in the middle. Also, when you're trying to lose weight, oh, I love avocados. Um, it's tasty, but you know what? It's easy to eat a whole avocado in one setting. And so when you're trying to lose weight, you don't want to... Go overdo it on the avocado. It's delicious. But try to use some caution uh, with that also if you're trying, again, if you're trying to get those extra few pounds off. So here's another uh, principle of caloric density, and it's called sequence in your meals. So what you do with this is that you have in your, eye, you have in your mind, what am I going to eat first? What am I going to eat second? What am I going to eat third? So you want to begin with an item that is low calorically dense, um, such as a soup or salad, 
before you move on to the items that have more density in calories. Um, and just by doing this, you tend to leave less room in your stomach for foods that are more calorically dense. So it actually helps to start with a nice bowl of salad or fruits for breakfast or lunch, however you want it. And another principle is don't drink your calories. Um, avoid liquid calories as much as possible. Eat and chew your calories. Don't drink them or liquefy them. Um, liquids tend to have little, if any, satiety or fullness. They don't make you feel fuller as you do eating foods that are fruits and vegetables and, and that are more intact from the plant kingdom. So not too much calories when you're drinking. And um, the last one that I want to share with you is the principle of dilution. Um, Jeff Novak, who is a dietitian, um, is actually the, uh, the inventor of this phrase. He says, dilution is the solution through substitution. <laughs> I'll explain to you what that means. So basically, um, you want to dilute the high calorie density in your foods by filling up half your plate with those foods that are lower in caloric density. It's just another repetition of what I've said again, but I just want to fill the point. Um, fill half your plate with intact grains, legumes, starchy ve vegetables, and then the other half with um, vegetables and fruits. And remember to stay low on the oil. And this is what it actually looks on your plate, again, in another form, when you have half your plate of vegetables, a fourth of it with beans or legumes, and then a fourth of it with some type of intact grains. So eating this way will help you to lose weight and maintain it in the long run. So God bless you guys, and I hope that you have learned something that will hopefully um, help you in your struggles with weight loss. Um, and whenever you have trouble getting those extra pounds off, just remember this principle of caloric density. Because chances, chances are there, there is something in our, in our diets, diets that is hampering our weight loss plans. plans. And, and sometimes, sometimes you have, have to go, go on a search and destroy mission, mission and find, find out what that is. <laughs> and uh, so, God bless you, and I hope you have a great evening. Thank you. Okay, it's our turn here. Thank you for uh, the Valentine um, wonderful lecture. Thank you, my wife. Okay, so now, um, actually, she did a wonderful lecture on losing weight. Yes, it was awesome. Mm. Yes. Okay, so now w this is ready. So basically, it's uh, the pearl, um, tapioca pearl. So you see the consistency, this is what you want to have. Okay? And uh, when you let it sit uh, for four hours, it's best to sit for four hours and, uh, so and, and chill four hours and it, and it's like nice and chill and cold and it's just it's just awesome awesome dessert okay so um go ahead put some here we can go ahead i'll let you do that let's just put everything in one cup this this recipe will give you about uh four serving but we're going to put everything in one is it okay okay do you want do you want to use this okay hold on hold on Emily. let's do this one use that yeah thank you okay <laughs> So, okay. you, because we want to want to make it neat and everything there. <laughs> really nice. Okay, I'm looking for a plate. I'm coming to you. And now it is it? Yes. Yeah, we can we can f let's fill it up. Just okay. we can put a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then we have some like uh, some strawberry we can put on top mm -hmm. when it's cool, okay? When it's chill, so we can put the strawberry on top mm -hmm. and blueberry and uh, <coughs> I have some raspberry. I will just put it there like this. Just like that. See, I want it to be enough. Okay, and a uh, piece of mint. Oh. I hate to open this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Is this mint? Yes, yes mint. Oh, okay. Yes. 
Okay, just take one of that. Just put it here. Okay. Et voilà. Yes. <laughs> Et voilà. We had this here. But I have one ready. Oh you can do it just so like this one. And, and so, kiwi yes, the mm. kiwi, uh, the strawberry, blueberry on top, and I glaze it. Really. And so this is this is a good Valentine uh, meal, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Emily, look at that. Uh, and you have. I want you to try this. I want you to try. I know you like it, Emily. I want to ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> like it's so pretty. <laughs> and here we, we have, have the lasagna. lasagna. This is the lasagna that uh, we have made one in advance. So this is the four years, the two years lasagna. Okay, mm -hmm. ready. Okay. And, and so, so we are ready, ready for. Uh, this is our Valentine, Valentine meal. meal. And uh, so, do you have any? Qu if you have any question, let us know. Uh, but I know you can do it. It was easy, and less than an hour we did this, huh? <laughs> and we did every step together, you know? So you guys can do it, and let us know uh, if you have questions, send us pictures of your meal for Valentine. Yes, any meal that you make, send us pictures, give us ideas, okay? And give us some input also, we'd love to hear from you. And please come visit the Nature's Nest uh, here at Campo Sabo, and we open from uh, Sunday to Friday. And uh, check the schedule, it's online at Camp Cuisine, you can check it out. They are also. Um, are, are you ready, ready for, for uh, the next, next steps? steps? Yes. Okay, that is awesomely beautiful. beautiful. I'm telling you, uh, that would be pretty impressive if you did that for your Valentine. Uh, so I would encourage you to give it a shot. You've got a few days to practice. So, anyway. Um, just looking ahead, in March we will be doing vegetarian pizza. Vegetarian pizza, Hawaiian barbecue, Alfredo, and Mediterranean pizza. So if you like pizza, you will definitely want to tune in. If you've got friends who like pizza, you might want to tell them about it. So that's something that we're looking forward to. So Chef's going to get everything out and we're going to kind of make everything look beautiful. Uh, probably take some pictures of that and then we'll have a few tastes and see how it tastes. and. Uh, We'll take some Q&A if you've got some questions you want to send in. Okay, so we'll wrap it up before Q&A. So uh, Chef will finish it out, and then we'll have uh, a closing prayer, and then we'll do Q&A. Okay. Okay, we are done. And so today we want to let uh, for you, what you want to tell them? When Emily, she's so excited doing this. She's fanning this thing there. Okay, go ahead. Perfect. She's fanning this. Awesome. Eat better, live well. <laughs>
So we had a couple of questions come in uh, in the lecture. Uh, we had somebody mention grapeseed oil and avocado oil as co-alternatives. I don't know um, what that is. Barbara says she called tapioca company fish eyes and blue. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love that. <laughs> oh, uh. Yeah, fish eyes. It really, really, I used to eat fish eyes. So yeah, so. Uh, nature's Nest. At the Nature's Nest here at Campo Sabo. And uh, you can come and uh, we have the tapioca actually there. And we have the coconut, we have the milk, we have everything there. All the healthy things. Okay? Yes. Say we're Nature's Nest. Nature's Nest is here on campus at Campo Sabo. Yes. Really? It's not working anymore. Oh, I get to use the building. That's right. Anyway, Camp Sable is where Nature's Nest is on campus here. We have a lot on campus, but the, the thing that's open to the public right now is the store. Yeah, uh, we have the. Yes, and we are in the nature boardwalk also. You can you can walk there, but also the store is open from ten, uh, Sunday to Friday, uh, Sunday ten to two, and Friday also ten to two. But uh, Monday to uh, Thursday, ten to nine. Uh, no, ten to five. Sorry, ten to five. Okay, and uh, so yes, we have everything. It's a helpful store. We have uh, uh, we have tamales on Wednesday. We have pizza on Thursday, so you can order those things. Also Tuesdays and the rest of the week, we have a pre-made meal, uh, meal on the go. And uh, take and bake yeah. meal, so uh, a lot of kind of artisan bread and whole wheat bread, all kind of bread we have, and so uh, we make it. We make it here at Campo Sabo. We have a bakery there where we make everything uh, there. Okay. Excellent. It's it's the pizza, by the way, is really good. I've had it, and it is to yes, die for. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Jess says thank you for the messages and the beautiful meal. Love and blessings to you all. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. Uh, Diana says, "Do you have to cook the vegetable first? No, you don't have to. If if you want, you can just uh, you can pre-season it if you want, and just and just put it straight in the in the um, the lasagna. You don't have to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, if you have any more questions, feel free to just put them in the comments. We're gonna wrap it up here. Our next episode is." in March and I know Pastor Benson mentioned pizza um, which is it's the pizza that we have in the store I didn't I didn't realize we have pizza <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes okay that's awesome actually it's that's, awesome I, I really like this the oven would be high <laughs> yes and um, so that's all for now uh, feel free to send this to your friends send this to your colleagues share this on your pa Facebook timeline. Um, we 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 would love to get to know you. If you made this dish, feel free to send us a picture through Facebook or our website. We'd love to see that. Um, I know they'd have a lot of fun seeing that. Yes, we will. And also, remember to vote for us and uh, uh, for the nominee for um, uh, Chamber, Chamber of Commerce. Commerce. Yes, okay. the Grayling Chamber of Commerce. The Grayling Chamber of Commerce. Yes. yes. So I didn't know this. This I is really interesting. Yes, it just yesterday they sent to me. I was sending the, the link so you can tell that. Okay, so we'll put that on the Facebook page and the website. Yeah. Uh, but the Grayling Chamber of Commerce, just n they've nominated us yeah. at Nature's Nest. Yeah. And so then you can vote on their website, and we'll get a link up to that soon. Uh, and do you guys have anything else? Yeah, really? Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes, yes. enjoy your Valentine. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you, guys. It's, it was a lot of fun. Okay, let's try this, Emily. Let's try. Let me take some spoon. Where are the spoons? Well, I have the whole.